today. From Ford Field in Detroit. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Detroit Lions taking on the Seattle Seahawks. First opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. Now, losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the Seahawks 19. Back to the running game with Swift. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. And here are the key inactives for them in this one. And obviously, Charles, are going to be without some important names this week. Well, hopefully those guys will be on the sidelines encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come off the sidelines during the game by giving them some tips on what they see and what they've experienced. That's true teamwork. And if you want to get to the playoffs, if you want to have a big push, you have to have that on your squad. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Brock Wright, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And this defense in a little bit of a tight spot here. The ball is inside the red zone. Second down and six. And Ebron's got it. Touchdown, Lions. Eric Ebron, his second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time... So the situation, it's third down in the third quarter, and this defense just trying to get the ball back to their offense to get back in this contest. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the center. 
Time to get back into the action. The football in the red zone for this offense. It's second down at six yards to go. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 126 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamal Williams with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. And they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short... Third down, here's Williams. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. A lot of points put on the board so far by this offense. Now they're looking for more. Already winning here in the second half ball in the red zone. He'll buy some time right. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Looking to throw. They'll roll him out right. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Lions look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran. All right, so here's the situation. Onside kick team out there. Receiving team needs to get their hands on this football. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fall. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. They'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But they're passing attack, even though that one was. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for the Lions, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they'll sink now to 0-4. And, and they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.